this is actually a very exciting time, right? We started this research here of trying to prove that we can build optical devices from silicon and what we call silicon photonics. And when we started this, it was sort of, can we really do build the optical devices out of silicon? And the goal was, if we can build optical devices out of silicon, very similar to what we've done with Moore's Law, integration with transistors, build these optical building blocks or Legos, we can integrate them together and we can build new devices, smaller form factor, lower power, but using optical communication instead of electronic communication. And what we've done over the last couple of years is we've not only proven that we can build optical devices with our recent breakthroughs of the fastest silicon modulator operating at 40 gigabits per second. We have a hybrid silicon laser. We have photo detectors operating at 40 gigabits per second. And just recently, with this recent publication, we've now proven a new device, an avalanche photo detector, that has better performance than any device previously done in this exotic material or optical material it's called indium phosphide. So not only have we proven we can build optical devices out of silicon, this is the first time a silicon photonic device has better performance than indium phosphide. Why do we care about silicon photonics? What's so exciting? Well, as we continue to increase and push Moore's law, we continue to increase the processing power of our CPUs. We're going from single core to multi-core. You see quad core coming. If you continue to scale this in the future, we're going to have tens if not hundreds of cores. And the amount of processing power for these cores, the big problem is going to be how do we get data in and out or information in and out of these cores. And what we really want to do is connect these cores optically. The problem with optical communication today, it's very expensive. And so could imagine if I can take what's done today in sort of telecom world with these optical fibers, and if I can put that communication not only on a chip, but start the communication on a silicon chip and end it on another silicon chip. It's a completely different way of re-architecting the platform. I can now send information. It doesn't matter if I send information a foot, 10 feet, or meters, or hundreds of meters away. I now can com connect and compute and communicate optically. In order to do that, though, we have to develop technology that's high volume manufacturable and low cost. And we believe the way to do that is building optical devices and optical technology on this wonderful material, which we all love, silicon. And that's the premise of silicon photonics. This was actually a truly collaborative effort. So not only did it involve Intel as in, in leading this effort, but we've partnered up with Professor John Bowers at University of Santa Barbara and also Joe Campbell, Professor Joe Campbell at the University of Virginia. Now these are two world-renowned avalanche or APD photo detector experts. And the irony here is this world record of 340 gigahertz gain bandwidth is the record that we beat of Professor John Bowers and Professor Joe Campbell who held previous records, albeit some of those were in indium phosphide. In addition, we also worked with Mnemonics, which was a, a corporation that we've spun off from our flash memory business at Intel, where we fabricated these devices in mnemonics. And the funding was partially funded by DARPA. And what you see here is how the ability of combining government funding, academic professors, and also grad students who've actually spent time here in the lab at Intel, the world-renowned experts, and an outside partnership we have with mnemonics to truly get a collaborative effort to advance science and also accelerate the ability to commercialize this technology. 